Now, gold's clearly much higher than 1,200. Tell us why you run it as if it's 1,200. Jim, I'm a, I'm a fourth generation miner. I've uh, grown up, lived and worked in mining communities around the world, and I've seen the price cycle many, many times. And what we do at Newmind is ensure that we are running the business at the bottom of the price cycle. So we run our business assuming gold is at $1,200, and we're looking to improve margins and extend mine life at $1,200 and pay a dividend that is sustainable at $1,200. We pay a $1 annualised dividend. We lifted that by 79% earlier this year, and we can sustain that dividend at $1,200. When you run a business with that rigour and discipline, you can work through every cycle in the commodity that, commodity that you're in. What that provides then for Newmont and for investors in Newmont is significant leverage to the gold price. So for every $100 increase in gold price above 1200 we generate $400 million of free cash flow every year. Right. Jim, put that another way, if gold stayed at its current levels for the next five years, we'd generate $15 billion well, of free cash flow over that period of time. Well, well, that is fabulous. But now, you bought Gold Corp. One of the reasons why mm -hmm. we did sour on Gold Corp, sir, was because time and again, something would go wrong at their minds. It would be a flood. It would be a fire. At one point, I just said, listen, it's Job. I can't take it anymore. Now, there were a bunch of things that happened uh, in some of your minds this quarter. Uh, it looks like they're back, uh, previous quarter. It looks like they're all back in production. But I am interested in one. You did have one that was closed by COVID. Yeah, we actually had across our portfolio, Jim, we put five mines into care and maintenance through the first and second quarter. Uh, some of them were, were due to governments putting restrictions in place. Uh, Mexico, you mentioned earlier, was about government restrictions, similarly in Peru and Argentina. Up into Canada, uh, what we did when we responded to, to COVID was, was ensure that the, the health and safety of our workforce and our local community was front and centre in every decision that we made. And we uh, moved a bunch of people uh, off our operating sites and we closed our offices globally. In fact, we had at one point 10,000 people across our business globally working remotely from home to protect their health and safety. And in a couple of instances up in Canada, our local communities, as we engage with them, were concerned about their vulnerability um, to, the, to the, the spread of this infection. So we put our operations into care and maintenance out of respect for them and to protect their health and safety. But through this second quarter, we have been bringing all of those operations back up out of care and maintenance. So Second quarter will be low in terms of production and cost as we move back out of care and maintenance, and then we'll hit our straps in the second half of this year and meet the targets that we've set for the, for the 2020 calendar year. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.